Alright, in this video we're going to talk about Cobra's cast bullets compared to Steinel's cast bullets. <clears throat> uh, like I said, with the crisis going on, everybody's short of stuff, and especially 6.5 Carcano, highly in demand. Well, a lot of people go to this one place and they sell a product, and we're going to look at what I have in small quantities and their product. And because, you know, my subscribers, and this ain't for everybody, this is for people that reload and can reload cast bullets. I've been asked. I have a supply of 50 bullet packets that I can send out. Okay, that's about all I can do. I really can't reload the ammo because of the powder constraints and primer constraints. Alright, <clears throat> so you're going to load a cast bullet on your carcon. There are a couple things that you will need extra. Number one, you're going to need a Lee Universal uh, sizing die, or not sizing, uh, expanding, Lee Universal expanding die, okay? And again, these are probably all sold out, and I have a Lee collet crimp die for the 6.5 Carcano, again, sold out. So, how the cast bullet works and what makes mine accurate is it's oversized, okay? My bullet is uh, 270 thousandths in diameter. And we'll take a closer look at it when we look at what's available. And when it's loaded in this cartridge, it's quite accurate. It works well. It's low powered. And also, it is safe to shoot. And these old Italian Betterly rifles. And just so you know, when we start looking at what the competition has, I'm going to take one of my cast bullets and do the infamous bullet test on this old gun. And as you see, okay, my bullet is engaging the board. So, I'll get the camera turned around, look at what's out on the line, tell you what I got, and it's very limited, whatever. It'll all be explained in detail on the MeWe page. Okay, here we are at the Steinel uh, page, and we will go to Components, and when we go down, here are our bullets. For the Carcano cast bullet. Now, if you notice their bullet, okay, I'll scroll up a little there. If you notice their bullet, and it's probably got about 25% of that, is going to be the bearing surface. Where if you look at the bullet I am using, yeah, give me a hard time there. Wants to give me a hard time. Okay, if you look at the bullet I'm using, that bearing surface in here, in this area, is larger and longer. It actually extends out on the cartridge, okay? And I've used this bullet, and it's chambered in almost 30 different Carcanos that I've used, and I've never had one not, not take the chamber, meaning the Carcanos chambers are cut. Now, it states here, these projectiles are to be used in rifle-length barrels in good condition. They are not suitable for significantly worn out barrels and carbine length barrels in any condition beyond 20 yards. So basically, it's, it's a load of crap. They're selling you a shit item, okay? Because my bullets work in all guns, long guns, carbines, and that, 
And are you saying, well, are you just bragging or talking out your ass? No, I made 20 videos where I tested, you know, over 25 different rifles and all of them shoot this bullet and it's it's on there. So I'm not I'm not talking crap here. Now they have 50 count 268 driving bands, which mine are 270. Mine measures about a 262 bore rider and a gas check. And I use a Hornady crimp on lube gas or crimp on gas check. Okay, they're the best. And that's how it works. So for 50 of them, we're going to add it to the cart. Okay. Then we're going to view the cart. 1349. Okay. So there's this total flat rate shipping is $12.99 or $13, so $26. And I know you're going to get charged sales tax, so it's going to make it 30 bucks for 50 bullets. Well, if you send me 20 bucks and $10 shipping, I'll send you 50 of my bullets, okay? And that's the offer I got going right now, as long as the supply lasts. Now, another thing you'd have to look into, like I said, because of cast bullets you have, to, and it's oversized, you have to get an expander, and you have to have an expanding plug. Now, if you go to any old bullet molds, Go to shop, look along the side right here where the arrow is down in here. When you find expanders, then you'll find pistol and rifle. Click on rifle. And then when you go, what you want is the expanding plug 270 by 266. This one here. It costs $6.50. But you do have to have the uh, expanding die. You need that to stretch the neck out, and I strongly suggest you have a set of dies that will size the neck of your brass for a 268 bullet, because you're going to have to stretch that neck a little further with this plug to get the cast bullet in there and seat it and send it off. Okay. Uh, I do use this Lee crimp die, <clears throat> which is a factory collet crimp die. Uh, they're sold out everywhere. Okay, because once you flare the neck of the case, you have to crimp it back. Okay, it'll be flared out. So you may be able to do that with a standard crimp, like a roll crimp. Just go slow and crimp it down to where it'll chamber. So... Let's recap what we got going on here. Okay, so let's recap. I have a very limited quantity of bags of 50 bullets, my cast bullets, okay, ready to be reloaded. And I'm asking uh, 30, you can send it PayPal, mail me a check, whatever you want to do. Uh, go to the details on my MeWe page. Um, what I'm going to do is the comment section in this video will be cut out. I'll have a link to the Carcano rifle thing on the MeWe page, which will have the details there. If not, my email will be down here. Just email me and ask. And what I'm going to try to do is get some samples out to everybody. I have a very limited quantity. I can't really produce that many. You know, I hand cast. There's no machinery. There's no nothing. And what I have to go through to seat the gas checks, lube these, size them, and everything, it takes days for me to get the small quantity that I have done. But if you want a bullet that'll work, okay, in carbines and in rifles in any 6.5 Carcano, an unusual thing about this is this bullet works in a Carcano, but before you all start asking me, is 6.5 uh, Swedish or 6.5 Dutch or something like that, 
it kind of does not, and I haven't used it in any of the others. So, so you know, don't ask. All I know is this is the bullet for the 6.5 Carcano. And if your bore is a little worn out or screwed up, watch my videos and I show you how this performs compared to all other types of ammo. Okay? Oh. Sorry for that. I had a delivery. But like I was saying, uh, if you're interested in catching some of this and helping me support my channel out, you know, go to the MeWe page or email me. Get a 50 uh, bullet sampler. Try them out. Uh, what I will do is I will give you the exact, if you buy some, I will give you the exact load and load data for that round. Okay, you have to use the powder I use, you have to use the charge, I tell you. It's very light, very mild, and it's safe. Okay, I will email you the data, give you the cartridge overall length, all that other stuff, and, you know, the procedure, expand and neck crimp. Um, so, if you're interested, go ahead. You know, if you want to keep going with this, like, stenol stuff and getting screwed where they're telling you, the bullet ain't coming out of a carbine at more than 20 feet. Okay, that, that's, that's bullshit. Okay, that's, that's selling you a substandard product that these people have not tested themselves or have tested in numerous guns, much like what I've done. Okay, and my videos will prove it if you take the time to look at it. So if this is something for you, get a hold of me. Okay, and thanks and stay tuned, guys.